Hello everyone, my name is Anthony and today I'm going to be walking you through a tutorial on how to connect to the internet with your laptop using Mobile Hotspot. For those who don't know, Mobile Hotspot is a feature that's been added to select Android powered phones that allows for your phone to serve as a wireless access point for any device that can connect to the Wi-Fi. Before we begin, there's a few things that we must cover first. In order to benefit from this tutorial, your phone must be an Android powered phone and it must have this hotspot capability. In addition, this feature is highly data intensive, so an unlimited data plan is highly recommended in order to avoid any overage charges. If you are unsure whether you have an unlimited data plan, please get a hold of your carrier to make sure before you begin using this feature. And finally, in today's case we're going to be using the T-Mobile MyTouch 4G. If you happen to have a different carrier or a different phone, this is perfectly fine. The steps are very similar, just the wording and the placement of the settings are slightly different. Let's go ahead and begin. Now, in order to begin using the hotspot feature, we first have to get to your settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up the menu and we're going to browse for the settings. Everything is in alphabetical order, so we should find the settings down towards the bottom. I apologize if this is a little blurry, but I'll make sure to, to let you know exactly what I'm doing. That way you know exactly how to follow. What we're going to be looking for inside the settings is the wireless and networks. If you have a different carrier or a different cell phone, yours might be a little bit differently, but what we're searching for is wireless. Once we go into the wireless, we're going to be looking for portable Wi-Fi hotspot. Now yours may be worded slightly differently, but the main word that we're looking for is hotspot. As you can see here, the portable Wi-Fi hotspot has a little box right next to it. We're going to go ahead and select on that box, and it's going to highlight a check mark right inside, and once that is active, it's going to say Portable Hotspot MyTouch 4G is active. Once that is up and running, we're going to look for the Portable Wi-Fi Hotspot settings, and in the settings, we're going to find your router name and your password. Your router name and your password are going to be a necessity for when we try to connect it through your laptop, and you're going to find your router name at the top and your password. Once we've got that, we can go ahead and put the phone down, and we're going to go into the laptop. Down at the bottom right, or at least that's the way it is on my computer, it might be a little bit different for yours, but we're going to find the wireless networks. We're going to press connect to a network and it's going to tell us all of the different wireless networks that are available in your area. Up at the top it should say your browser name, which in my case is MyTouch4G Hotspot. And if for any reason it's not indicated there, go ahead and press refresh and it should show up. Once we click in there, it's going to ask us for the password, again located in your hotspot settings, and we're going to go ahead and type that in. Now it's going to give us a little sign that it's connecting to the MyTouch 4G hotspot, and finally it's going to give us a successfully connected to MyTouch 4G hotspot. Once we've got this message, we can go ahead and begin browsing. Up at the top, I have Google Chrome, Internet Browser, and Firefox. Let's go ahead and click on Firefox just for today so that we can go ahead and begin browsing the internet. So I'm going to go ahead and click on here just to verify that the internet is up and running and we're going to go ahead and go to Google. Now as you can see the internet is up and running. You have now successfully connected to the wireless hotspot. If for any reason you have had any problems with this, go ahead and try the tutorial one more time. If for any reason it doesn't work, make sure that your hotspot is enabled and that you do have hotspot enabled in your phone itself. Hopefully you have benefited from this tutorial. Thank you for listening and have yourself a great day.